So in the previous segment, we discussed the need to be able to argue and, um, and operate on functional dependencies, on sets of functional dependencies. And um, so in this particular video, we will talk about uh, the fundamental uh, operations that we have to be able to do that, or rather than operations, the, the basic axioms that we have and, uh, and theorems that we have to be able to um, convert functional dependencies from one into another. And uh, so um, I'm going to talk specifically about Armstrong axioms, and um, but let me motivate it first. Um, we have already talked about, so um, let me actually use the same example as in the previous uh, video. And uh, so if this is the primary key, we know that A implies B and, uh, and A implies C. But I also know that uh, this is equivalent and I can actually write it as A implies uh, A, B, C. And I can also add some really spurious functional dependencies. So if you know B, you know B. If you know C, you know C. So this is actually uh, also another equivalent set of functional dependencies. Um, so how come, how can we have the mathematical uh, mechanism to be able to go from, because remember, we need to actually go from here to here. So from this set, we can go to this set and from this set being able to actually go backwards. So we can prove that um, both of these sets are equivalent, okay? And uh, so we do it um, through um, some axiomatic rules. And uh, so <clears throat> we have fundamentally three um, axioms. And uh, so in all of these cases, let's assume that we're given a relation R. And R has a set of attributes with sets of attributes and uh, with a set of attributes. And among these attributes, we have subsets with subsets x, y, and z, and uh, on all of those are contained. So when we use uh, the name of the relation uh, by itself, um, for the purpose of this chapter, we are uh, referring to the set of attributes of attributes of um, R. So for example, we could say uh, A, B, and C. So uh, the set A, the set A, B, um, uh, the set B and C, uh, the set A, B, and C, all of those are subsets of R. Okay. So just a little bit of nomenclature um, uh, for what comes. So um, the first rule that we have, uh, or the first axiom, uh, we call it reflexivity. Reflexivity. And it's also known as the trivial one. And essentially what it says is the following. If we have a subset X, sorry, a subset Y, and uh, Y is a subset of the subset X, then X implies uh, Y. So for example, if we have A, B, and C, and we have subset um, A, that is a subset of B and C, then, oh, sorry, um, subset of a b then a b implies a in other words if we if we know something we can always know less than that so if we know a and b of course i know a if i know um if b notice that i don't write the braces so this actually is going to become very common in this chapter that instead of writing the braces, because all of these are set, so I'm actually going to obviate the braces. So whenever you see um, in this chapter um, that we list attributes, 
the, we're really talking about a set, not a list. Okay, uh, we use Lacy and we just don't write the braces uh, just to make it a little bit simpler. So B, of course, is a subset of A and B. So it also means that A, B implies uh, B. Okay, so trivial. So there's nothing really magic about it. And uh, the next um, is called augmentation. And it says, if x implies y, then x z implies y z for any subset z of r. In other words, if x implies y, I can always add attributes to both sides. So let's go back to our example of our a, B, C. And uh, so if I know that A implies B, then uh, A, C implies A, sorry, B, C. You're adding the same knowledge to both sides. So if I know A and you give me C, then <clears throat> If I already know also B because of A implies B, then of course I also know C. So um, this is also kind of relatively trivial. That's the idea with the axioms, right? So that's augmentation. Um, the third one is uh, transitivity. And as its name implies, it means that if I have X implies Y and Y implies Z, Sorry, I forgot the arrow. And y implies z. Then x implies z. So going back to our example, if we have r of a comma, uh, sorry, um, if we have a implies b and b implies c, then um, a implies C. Remember that these are subsets, so um, let me actually do a, uh, a little bit of a bigger relation. So A, B, C, D, and E. So if I know A, B implies um, C, D, and C, D implies E, uh, then A, B implies uh, E. Okay. So this will be a second example. So that's the fundamental idea uh, behind that. Okay. There are two uh, additional rules that um, we typically refer to, and um, they are not axioms because they can be derived from the axioms. And uh, so the first one is um, union. And uh, so union says that If x implies y and x implies z, then x implies y and z. So uh, what does that mean? Well, and uh, let's use an example. So if I have, again, my relation. So if I have a implies um, b, and A implies C, then A implies B and C. So if you gather the knowledge of B independently, so if you if you if you get the knowledge of B from A in one function dependency, in another function dependency you get from A the value of C. You can combine them, and then you can you can have a simple uh, um, a single functional dependency. And you can also do the, in, the invert. So if you have union, then you also have the composition. And what does the composition say? It says if <coughs> sorry, uh, if x implies y z, then x implies y and x implies z. I can always break them apart. Okay, so it's the 
inverse of the union. So if I have this functional dependency, um, so if I have uh, A implies for R A B C, remember we always have to give the relation, then I can say then A implies B and A implies C. Okay. And remember, um, we could actually have a multi um, attribute relation. So um, we could have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And I can say if A, um, if A implies, sorry, uh, let me, <clears throat> if A, B implies uh, C and A, B implies uh, D, E, and F, then A, B implies um, C, D, E, and F. So we're actually combining them. So that means that if we go backwards, we can say from A, B implies C, D, E, and F, then I can say, well, this, I can break it in many different ways. I can say A, B implies C, or A, B implies C, D, or A, B implies C, D, E, or A, B implies, should make my letters better, and uh, F, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so remember, uh, these are sets of attributes, all of them, okay? Um, so that essentially, um, concludes the basic, um, so remember, we have three axioms. We have uh, reflexivity, the trivial one. We have augmentation and we have transitivity. And, uh, and then we can derive two more that they are very uh, commonly used, uh, union and decomposition, okay? And uh, let's leave it at this and then we will talk about how to use them uh, in the next um, video.